this is our plan for today, the x-axis. I took a little time, I think it's always very, very important to really think through what you're getting ready to do. And I drew a little three-dimensional thing of the x-axis here. And how does the motor mount, there's the motor mount, how does the bearing in relationship to the actual piece that slides back and forth, which is this guy right here. How much room, how much clearance do we need between all these parts if I want the tool to become to be able to come to this edge and to that edge, so on and so forth. Well, wound up measuring this piece of Acme thread and it's not quite long enough to do what I have diagrammed here. So I'm gonna stop a little bit short on this side and a little bit short on that side. We're not gonna be able to travel, you know, the, the tool isn't going to be able to line up with this post. We're gonna keep it maybe like an inch inside here and an inch inside here, which I think is safe anyway. You don't really want the tool overhanging. took the cage, the ball cage, out of this thing. The idea for me is I wanted to center line this with the center line of the ball cage with the center line of my X axis. fit between the slide and the ball cage there. I've got a big hole cut in one side of this bracket and a little hole cut in the back and I've got a quarter 20 that we um, that we ground the head off of there. So I'm just getting it snug and this is all, I'm going to do the other side here while I'm talking, but this is all going to go in, and I'll pull the camera back here in just a second. It's all going to go in kind of loose. piece of dirt in the track there and uh, that was causing it some pickup. So I'd say we are super smooth right there. Quick look with everything in place or getting into place anyway. I've got a piece of angle bolted in place here and I'm going to do another piece uh, either like this or like this to catch the stepper motor. So I'm going to go ahead and drill holes for this and we'll figure out which orientation I want.
this up and really, honestly, truly, believe me, I never ruin the surprise. You guys get this at the same time I do. So uh, I was trying to get this powered up and my power supply light kept going off. This has a fault protection if there's a short circuit. And I actually had the plus and minus backwards here. It's kind of freaking me out that I couldn't get this thing fired up. But it is fired up. And when it did fire up, and I apologize, didn't have the camera run, I heard something bump over here. So that generally means it's working. But I've got universal G-code sender on and the keyboard controls. Ah, it would help if I tightened there we go, this one right here. It's spinning. And it's definitely moving. Yes, sir. So my guess is that's very slow rate of travel. Uh, let's see, I don't know if we can change that. And we are moving. And I've got things just kind of clamped in place to make sure we don't bind up. Things are going very, 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 very slow here. So uh, I'm at a point where I don't know enough about the electronics. I need to do some learning. But in the meantime, I'm going to run this guy out to the end to make sure nothing's binding. And if nothing's binding, I'm going to weld all these tabs together. I wound up cutting all these... Uh, little plates because I can't drill an inch and eighth hole. I don't have the equipment to do that and uh, I needed some adjustment and on and on and on. So I wound up making these little thin plates to weld in everywhere and uh, that's how I'm going to just have to do it. That's how you have to do it when you don't have the right right stuff. So anyway, it's going to be right enough. This is definitely working. It just needs to be sped up a little bit. Something's uh, Something's misfiring, but we'll get it sorted out. That is it for me for the weekend. Boy, that uh, took all day to get that sucker. Man alive. <laughs> Don't let me move.